Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy, it's Program Reactions here, back with another video, and today we're going to be recapping the unfortunate uh, events of so the leading Elise. We said in our last video, we said the, Bl the Leafs better win against, against the, the Blues. Blues. What happened? Not that. Here we go. Craig Berube's former team. You would think they would show up for Craig Berube. They would show up, they would, they would put their good vibes, and they would win for Craig Berube. But no, no. they don't like Craig Berube. They don't, they don't care about Craig Berube. They're starting to like him now, but they don't like him at this point. Because guess what they do? They decide to lay the biggest Easter egg ever. So Joseph's wall, first game as a Leaf, which I think was the biggest mistake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Was the biggest mistake. I love Joseph. I love Wall. I love Waller. He's a brick wall and I love him. I love him for what he did against Boston. He absolutely smacked the shit out of Jeremy Swayman. Mm -hmm. Took him out. Gave him a wedgie. Bullied him, okay? Mm -hmm. Stuffed him in his locker, okay? I love Joseph Wall. Thing is, Joseph Wall is struggling right now. Injuries. He's struggling right now. He's been injured. This is his first game back, and what does he do? Sucks. His brick wall isn't much of a brick wall. It's a paper wall at this mm. point. So let's get right into it. Philip Broberg, absolutely a menace. Second goal of the year for him. Kairou and Buchnevich picking up the assist, making the score one nothing Blues. Then, Dylan Holloway. The Leafs decide we're not going to wake up in the first period because we're just going to go slow out the gate and come into the fruition. Mm -hmm. Dylan Holloway, second goal of the year for him on a power play. Brandon saw it picking up the assist, making the score 2 0 Blues going into the intermission. So I would think that Mr. Craig Berube would say, guys, wait. take our heads out of our asses. Take our heads out of the Blues' ass. Okay, go to the net. Block the ice. We're making it too cute for Mr. Bennington over here, mm -hmm. who, by the way, won the cup for the St. Louis Blues, and who, by the way, also sucks. Okay? He hasn't been that great, if you think about it. If you think about it, his last two seasons were below average, if you think about it. He also just got smoked in a gaming video. Check yeah. that out here if you didn't okay. see already. And Oliver Ekman Larson gets the lease on the board. So we're like, okay. Oh. So Ekman Larson first goal as a lead. Riley Tavares. Oh yeah. This. We're cooking. Beautiful we're cooking. Slap. I see what Brad's cooking. So it's two one. I see what working. Craig's cooking. The chief is back in town. We are back. We then, are so back. But then it takes a turn. The for the wrong worst. Wrong turn. Alexandre Texier. Jordan Cairo and Buchnevich assisting. See, it's 3-1 blue. This is the life of a Leafs fan. We start down here, we go up, and then we get excited, then we get and then cracked fast down. Plummet, hard plummet. It isn't like a slow burn. It isn't like a slow just defeat. It's a fast plummeting. Because we go into the third like, period. Uh, Guys, we're down 3-1. <laughs> Let's throw everything we have, everything we have at Jordan Bennington. Let's take away his eyes. Let's win this game. But no. They decide, we're not going to play anymore. We're just going to accept our defeat and go because. on. Because Jake Neighbors, third goal of the year for him, Braden Shea picking up the assist, making the score 4-1 Blues. But it wouldn't stop there because the suffering would continue because they would pull the net. Pull the net. They would pull the net. And Dylan Holloway would get the empty netter, third goal of the year for him. 
Justin Falk picking up the assist, making the score 5 1, and putting us in the feet. Even more interesting is mm, the Leafs had 41 shots on goals against the Blues. Gosh darn, did it feel like we had 41 shots? Did, we, did it feel like we outshot the Blues? I don't think so, because the Leafs are the Leafs. And they make you think that they're the best team, but they're actually the worst. So let's get it. Definitely right. didn't reflect that on the scoreboard. And just remember, folks, shots don't win games. Yeah. Goals do. It doesn't matter how many shots you can have. You can pepper the guy with shots. But I saw a lot of muffins to the chest. I saw a lot of muffins. Clear shots for Bennington. Clear view. They gave him a nice first-class seat mm. to see everything. Well, over for a 4 on the power play for the Leafs, and 1 for a 2 on the power play for the Blues. 24 hits for the Blues, 21 for the Leafs, 23 blocks for the Blues, and 8 for the Leafs. And 15 <coughs> giveaways for the Blues, 14 for the Leafs. Record is 4-4-0 four, four on the so, brink of going negative. The Leafs never go negative. So, the Leafs, the Leafs, against the Bruins. First round mm -hmm. matchup. First round, first round rematch. All the storylines. All Bruins the storylines. are not, are, have been uh, not doing well heading into this game. Leafs not doing well heading into this game. Matthews got yelled at by his coach. Marshan got yelled at by his coach. Uh, first round rematch. Original six matchup. Saturday night. So hockey night in Canada. What more do you want? I want to preface this. Okay, I want to preface this. This was one of the worst Leaf performances, and then turned out to be one of the best. Okay, and then and then it got even worse. Because the same man decided to do a brain fart of an issue. So let's get right into it. It, it, went, it went like this. It went, it went up, and then it went down, and then it went really high, and then, and then it went, went down. Dip. It went down fast. Ready? Second period. Matthew Nye, fourth of the season, opens the scoring. Matthews and Marner picking up assists. The first line's buzzing. Yes. And then, of course, David Pasternak on the power play. Marshan and Zaga picking up assists. They tie the game. Leafs say no. And Morgan Riley with a beautiful snipe ends up scoring. He goes, he goes, he goes. He yeah, and just boom. ends up taking the lead, the second lead of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Second goal of the season for him. And Marner and Tanev picking up assists. Two one Toronto. Mm, didn't last long. No. Justin Brazo, second of the season. Frederick M. Of course. Poitras picking up assists. And it just went worse. Mark Kaslik, third of the season. Beecher and Kopecky uh, picking up assists. Heading into the third down, 3-2. Okay, so we thought it would be great. We, we, we need a goal. We need a goal fast. Third period commences. So nothing happens for the first 19 minutes. Nothing. Okay, nothing. Nothing. Okay, they pull their net. They wave at Anthony Stolarz to come Let's out. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. On a penalty kill, okay? When we were on shorthanded, okay? Austin Matthews, okay? So it goes to Tavares, to Marner, to Matthews. A beautiful, beautiful shot and a goal. Yes. I'm out there celebrating. I'm just going crazy oh, in yeah. my little box, yelling and screaming, and being yelly, screaming man. I'm sorry, Steve, but it being yelling, screaming man. Marner from the blue line just shot it on the net, and Matthews was there to tip it home. So I'm going crazy. I'm like, big poppy, getting a big goal in a big moment, okay? Time this game up. Let's get right into it. This Over is time. This is our day. This is our life. But no. Okay. So Over then, time. Over time. Where have we seen this before? Hmm. So. Hmm. Okay. So Matthews. Matthews. Takes it around his neck, okay? Nobody around! Nobody around! Nobody! He looks to his left, nobody. He looks to his right, nobody. He thought Marner, Marner was there, okay? What does he do? He gives the biggest cookie I have ever seen to David Pasternak. Gives him the biggest cookie. I have ever seen with extra chocolate chips because he was such a good boy. And right? I on top. Okay. I okay. see on the game. Everything, everything, the whole nine yards. He gave him a cookie right in the front. So he doesn't go just clear it out of the net. He doesn't just pass it out with a hard shot. A what does he do? No he does a little sauce 
right into the board, slows down the momentum of the puck, so instead of it going outside of the zone, so then it would be offside. Nope. What does he do? Nice little soft little sauce off the boards. And who comes in? David Pasternak. He intercepts oh, it. Marshan comes up on the He wing. goes, he passes to Marshan. Okay. Passes to Marshan. Anthony Stolars makes the most huge save. So bails out Matthews. Literally bails him out. Literally left them out to dry. And he bails them out with one of the greatest saves I have ever seen on a two-on-one. Okay? And instead of Matthews deciding, you know what? I'm going to pick up my goalie. Go slow to the net. Let's Brad Marchand pick up the rebound after a beautiful save from Anthony Stolarz. Okay? Picks up the rebound yes. and tucks it in. Mm. You mean to tell me that the Boston Bruins are the Boston Bruins. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It couldn't be just a simple 3-2 loss. It had to be seven goals. And who was the leader? Who won that game? 4-3 Bruins. So they won in seven again. Because seven is our unlucky number. When it's a lucky number for everybody else, it's an unlucky number for us. And you know what? Austin Matthews, I don't know what brain fart you had. But listen, that's the hugest brain fart I have ever seen from a captain ever in my life. Look at this. They're taunting him. The score, 34. The shots, 34. 34. They're taunting him. Unbelievable. This is the most ridiculous game. And it doesn't matter who was in the pipes. It was Samsonov in Game 7. It was Anthony Stolarz now. And it still happened again. But Anthony Stolarz is different from Samsonov. I must say, at least he saved it the first time. Samsonov just went... Uh, he, he saved he, he, he the shot. Up. I don't know how in the world he did it. But he saved and bailed out his captain after one of the biggest brain farts I have ever seen. But then the rebound came in front. Nobody was there. Austin Matthews decided, I'm just going to leave him out for a wet t-shirt. Let Brad Marchand pick it up. Instead of charging at the net, diving with all his might, hopping on Stolarz to cover the puck. He literally gave up a cookie. Anthony Stolarz saved his life. And then he didn't save his. Which is sad. Be a team, people. And 34 shots on goal for the Bruins, 23 for the Leafs. 0 for 3 on the power play continues to stink. 1 for 5 on the power play stink. for the Bruins. 20 hits for the Bruins, 27 for the Leafs, 19 blocks for the Bruins, 18 for the Leafs, 4, 4, and 1. Coming out here with a point. Heading into... Okay. Winnipeg. So we all knew, we all knew after that performance, we would go beat the Jets, right? Two terrible performances. Eight and O. Oh, eight and O oh Jets. Mm -hmm. So it would be the leafiest thing in the world. I said, hmm. So, so tell me something. You lose to the Blues. You lose to the Bruins in two terrible losses. And you're telling me we're about to face an eight and O oh team against the Winnipeg Jets? What is the most leafiest thing that can happen in this game? Uh, make that team eight and one. So John Navarre gets us started. Third goal of the year for him. Pacioretty and McCabe. Oh, beautiful. First goal, third goal of the year for him. Making the score one nothing. And that would be followed after by William Nylander. Sixth goal of the year for him. Patches with another assist. At making the score two nothing. Least. Then going into the second period. Uh, Matthew Nyes just keeps it going. Fifth of the season. Matthews and Marner picking up assists. And it don't stop there because Morgan Riley with bar down snipe. Nylander and Pacioretty picking up assists. Three points for Pacioretty. And we thought and we thought we chased Connor Hellebuck out of the net. Nope. But we didn't because he, he was still in there. Keep going. And then it was bound to happen. The stupid guy himself. Kyle Connor, seventh of the season.
Power play goal, Shifley and Morrissey picking up assists. I'm going to say something about that power play later. Kyle Connor again, 8th of the season. Again, power play goal, assisted by Morrissey and Velarde. But at least we end the second with one back. John Tavares, 4th of the season. Ekman Larson and Nylander picking up assists. It is 5-2 heading into the third period. But the Leafs can't let I game be in peace. They could be up 6-2, okay? But they need to scare the li they can be up 5-2 and they can scare the living crap out of you. They gotta, they gotta at least make it uncomfortable. You know, that's the leafiest thing, is to make it uncomfortable for everybody. So what do they do? They allow two more goals. Mark Shifley picking up his sixth goal a year for him, Connor, Kyle Connor, and Morrissey picking up the assist, making the score 5-3. But they wouldn't stop there because they have to allow another one to scare the living crap out of Leafs Nation. Gabriel Velarde picking up his second goal of the year for him. Kyle Connor and Nikolai Ehlers. And now it's six on five. I stared. Let's pull the net. I stared at myself and I'm like, this would be the leafiest thing in the world. Where they would be up five two going into the third period and blow it. And five four, I'm actually shitting my pants. But Chris Tandem says, no need to worry, my friend. Because Leafs are different this year. Chris Tanna sauces it to John Tavares. John Tavares shoots and scores. And From the red game. line, beautiful shot, beautiful, beautiful backhander, right into the net to <coughs> seal this game. 6-4. John Tavares with the hat trick. Nylander and Pacioretty with three-point nights. It was a domination of a line of Nylander, Pacioretty, and Tavares. What a line. And I can't wait to see that again. All man, three points. Beautiful. I don't want to see that split for a while. Uh, and then the Matthews line needs to wake up. Uh, 23 shots on goal for the Jets against the Leafs. 36 shots. 0 for 2 in the power play for the Leafs. 2 for 4 for the Jets. Might I add, the Jets are just incapable of scoring without man advantages. Now, I know they got some goals there. I think one of them was 6 on 5. Or whatever it was. They just need advantages. They're not an even strength team. But the Leafs took advantage because we are an even strength team and we are garbage on the man advantage, which makes no sense uh, at all. No sense. Still a broken power play. Uh, 21 hits for the Jets, 25 for the Leafs, 11 blocks for the Jets, 18 for the Leafs. Record finally improves to 5, 4, and 1 back into the positive column. I'm looking, I'm looking at, I'm looking at Mark Savard, I'm like... Time is ticking, buddy, to get this power play going, but They have split the units uh, in the... Well, they split it last game. They split it again in practice today as a filming on Wednesday, which is Riley, Marner, Matthews, Nice, Patch Reddy on the first unit, and the second unit consists of OEL, Nylander, Domi, McMahon, Tavares. Finally. So there's splits, but, like, is it going to... Is it going to amount to something? Better. <laughs> So let's get right into our next games for the Toronto Maple Leafs. So starting it off, we got a Thursday matchup against the Seattle Kraken. So this is a team. October 31st, Halloween. Halloween, baby. Happy Halloween. Yep. For people who celebrate it. And Happy then Halloween. heading into November on Saturday in St. Louis, a redemption game for Bruby to get a win against his former last team. Game, last game was in Toronto. This is his return to St. Louis. An actual return. An actual return to St. Louis. We can't let him down after his return. Yep. Then Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, 6 p.m. game, November 3rd against the Wild Minnesota in Minnesota. And then uh, Tuesday against Boston again. This time at home, starting off a four-game homestand. Um, Followed by Detroit, Montreal, and Ottawa, uh, which are all um, mediocre teams. So mm -hmm. that's been today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you enjoyed this one. And we'll see you on the next one. Hopefully, we are not blowing oh. a gasket. Oh, oh, oh. Jake McCabe. Oh, yes. Find the Toronto Maple Leafs. Jake McCabe. Before we go, Jake McCabe signs with the Toronto Maple Leafs for. Five years, four point five one million dollars. Beautiful, beautiful contract. Value. He loves 
the Leafs. He said in his press conference that he's happy to be a Leaf. And his family loves it here. His daughters love it here. I love you, Jake McCabe. I love you. The biscuit eater. Uh, he's also a biscuit eater. He eats biscuits for you no know, tomorrow. But he, he is currently uh, 31. He'll be 36 at the end of this contract. Now, some people are questioning the way the Leafs have, and uh, Brad Tree Living has gone with this defensive core. <laughs> you have Jake McCabe, Oliver Ekman Larson, Chris Tanev, and Morgan Riley locked up for, at minimum, another three full seasons. And your youngest defenseman of those four is Riley. Yeah, surprise. Right? Surprise. Because Tanev's already 34, Larson's 33, and McCabe is 31. So it's it's an aging decor, uh, but they need to hurry up and win a damn cup. They need to win. Let's so go. That's been. Um, thank you, McCabe. Passion haver. Thank Let's you. Go. We'll see you next week for more Leafs. Peace. Peace.